Hello friends, welcome to this video. This is a really interesting question number 7. Inside the MCQ, they have given that minimal polynomial of this matrix. This is nothing but the block matrix, means A, 0, 0, B are nothing but the blocks. They are represent a square matrices. Then, what is the minimal polynomial for this matrix? So, let me just denote this by C. C is a matrix which is nothing but A, 0, 0, B. Okay. So let me just consider C square. I want to talk about minimal polynomial, but before that, let me just uh, make some results which I am going to use. So let me just consider C square. What will be C square? The way you multiply normal matrices, the similar way you can multiply the block matrices also. It means if you take the C square, you will get it same as A square 0, 0, B square. Okay. That means over here it is a square of this matrix A, over here it is square of the matrix B if you consider C square. Also if you multiply this by alpha, it is same as alpha times A, 0, 0, alpha times B. Correct. So if I know the powers are going to be applied on the individual square matrices, scalar product will be or the scalar multiple will be applied to individual matrices. That means if I consider my P of C means if I apply polynomial over C, then it will be same as what? It will be same as P of A, 0, 0, P of B. Okay. You guys can verify this by generalizing this. I have done it for 2. You can do it for 3 until N by induction. You can verify by multiplying this. This is nothing but A, then 0, then 0, then B. B square, right? Okay. So, this is nothing but the result at which I want to use. Since the given matrix is of this kind, I know that if I apply this C, on some polynomial then that polynomial will get applied on a and b individually since i am wanted the minimal polynomial what is a minimal polynomial my dear friends minimal polynomial is a monic polynomial of the least degree which is annihilated by c means uh, the polynomial when applied on c i should get zero as my answer zero matrix as my answer okay so let me just think about it. let mc be the minimal polynomial minimal polynomial of C then my MC applied at C must be same as zero matrix but just now I noted that applying a uh, polynomial on C is same as applying that polynomial on the individual matrices A and B correct MC at B if this is same as a zero matrix this implies me my MC of A is zero and my MC of V is also 0. That means my this polynomial MC annihilates A, my polynomial MC annihilates B. So by the property of the minimal polynomial, since any, any polynomial which annihilate A will be divisible by the minimal polynomial of A, implies me my minimal polynomial of A will divide minimal polynomial for C. And similarly over here, since this polynomial annihilates B, my minimal polynomial for B will divide my minimal polynomial for C. Correct? That means my A, minimal polynomial of A divides C, minimal polynomial of B divides C. Also, I know that my MC must be of the least degree. Correct? So, what should be my choice? What should be my choice? Yes, my dear friends. What should be my choice? My choice should be first since we wanted the least degree. And also, I know that my MC is a multiple of MA. My MC is a multiple of MB. From this, I can write my MC is nothing but some polynomial p times ma my mb is same as polynomial q times m uh, sorry mc over here mc is same as polynomial q times mb correct so from this i know my mc is multiple of both of them since i wanted the least degree it must be least common multiple of uh, minimal polynomial of right and b so option a is correct okay guys Thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end. अगर आपको अच्छा लगता है तो please like कीजिए, share कीजिए और channel को subscribe कीजिए. ठीक है? Thank you.